This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. A relatively quick video showing that there is now a new version of the free mod for the SU-35 air to air variant, but with some air to ground functionality. We'll start off with this link here, which I'll give you in the video description. It links to a raw file. We're gonna go download, 327 meg, download anyway. Once it's downloaded, we will go to our downloads area. You can see the SU35 RAR, click in there. I think you need WinRAR to open this folder. Then we're gonna right click on SU35 and copy files to clipboard. Next, we're gonna find our saved games folder as always for me, C drive, users, my particular user, save games. Then DCS open beta for me, maybe DCS non open beta for you. Click there, mods, if you don't have that directory, please make it exactly as I've written there. Same thing with aircraft, please make sure that's there. Then when we're in here, right click, paste, and you can see that I've already done it. Let's start up DCS. Mine is the latest DCS open beta version, 11 March 2021. From the main menu, we're going to click options, controls, then we're going to select the SU-35. Note that there is an SU-35 and an SU-35S. The SU-35 is currently not working. We think that's going to be the kind of air to ground, more variant of the mod. It's not there at the moment, so you can't fly it. SU-35S, you can fly it. Click on there. Now, in terms of setting up your controls, it is identical to a flanker, SU-27, and an SU-33. So rather than show you every control now, please go and watch one of our 10-minute videos that shows how to set the controls up for an SU-27 or an SU-23 and that will be identical, control for control. So let's go okay with that. Probably the easiest way of flying this is go to Mission Editor. I'm gonna to go to click New and go to a Caucasus map, stand by as I set it up. Create Plane Group, I'll just click on this airfield here. I'm gonna make it Russian. I'm gonna make it an SU-35S. Like I said, the non-S is not available at the moment. Set him to Client or Player if you're gonna do single player. Um, I'm going to make him starting from parking hot in this case. Let's have a look at his possible munitions. So, outer pylons, air-to-air -air missiles, Archer or an Archer L, you know, an upgraded version of the Archer, which is pretty cool, or ECM. Pylon 2, we've got all the usual flanker missiles with the L Archer and the upgraded M Adder, which is pretty cool and all works as far as I understand. Bombs and pods otherwise are standard. Pylon 3, all the usual flanker stuff, plus Phoenix Ski R37M, which I'm going to equip a little bit later on. It's, as far as I'm aware, the equivalent of an AIM-54, for instance, from a Tomcat, but on the Russian side. And all the other stuff we've seen before. Air-to-ground missiles, KH-31P anti-ground or air-to-surface missile can be used for anti-shipping. Haven't figured out how to use it in this aircraft yet, so stand by. Uh, bombs, a whole selection of normal flanker type bombs and normal flanker type rockets. And in fact, by the looks of this, this may be actually be based on the J11A model, but I'm not sure. Ah, new missile, RVVL. Haven't seen this. What's that, Simba? Do you know? Almost like a hypersonic missile. It's long and cylindrical. All right, okay. That just described every missile out there. <laughs> yeah, right. We're going to have a play. I don't know, obviously, but we're going to have a play with them in a minute. Otherwise, uh, we've got this anti shipping missile pods and i don't think anything new is going to come up otherwise normal mm. flanker stuff normal flanker stuff uh interestingly i can't seem to have the phantasmagoria which would we would need to do any kind of anti-radiation stuff so that's interesting we can have fuel tanks i didn't realize we could have fuel tanks and flankers i guess that's specific to this mod uh kind of normal flanker stuff yeah, fine. Right, uh, so next we'll go and jump in a cold started SU-35S and show how to start it up and then we'll go and use some munitions. The cool thing about this is it's got its own individual bespoke cockpit which is quite cool. It is non-clickable so I could get my mouse up with left alt and charlie and I could click around on everything but nothing's clickable yet. It m clickability may be added, I don't know, we'll just have to go and see. Uh, it's got the steam gauges replaced with digital readouts obviously I mean just looking for the first time that looks like engine temperature I'm not sure what that is probably angle of attack ADI VSI speedo and clicks I imagine uh, compass of some sort altimeter in thousands of meters I'm guessing taco left engine taco right engine um, a display of gear and, and flaps and stuff like that I think our uh, nav slash SA page from the flanker goes there We've got another kind of ADI there, a non-working but kind of cool kooky looking UFC there. Hard 
different model but otherwise works as normal. So some controls just to get you started. Uh, right shift and lima to turn the electrics on. Um, to turn both engines on we can go engine start if we want to turn them off we can do engine stop nozzle steering we're going to turn it on with that guy there and if we wanted to rearm I should also show that we want to press that there we'll go like that I've already armed up here but if we wanted to change some of these weapons I would go right click and I can choose whichever weapon could go in that station when you're finished rearming click OK and wait for him to rearm. To rearm you must have your canopy up, your engines off and spooled down. Simba, right shift Lima for electrics on and you should see your HUD come on and it has. Then engines start. You can start the engines one by one but it's not much point. Uh, watch the tacos, let them spool up. I wonder what it is about a flanker that lets both engines start at once because the NATO planes have to be uh, one at a time. These instruments do all work, by the way. They do work. Can I be down left control and Charlie? And we're up and going. Okay, Simba, we're going to taxi to the runway on the left now. We're going to push thrust forward a little bit. Both engines. We're going to use our rudder to steer. Note, uh, it's what we call a stand SFM, standard flight model. Really simple flight model. You can always tell if it's like that because it has this crazy unrealistic turning effect like you'll get in... In the SFM mods, um, it means you can't uh, roll the plane over, for instance. Uh, but so be it. Let's carry on. Right, I'm following you to the runway. It looks so funny. Go on, give it some wiggling so I can see how stupid it looks. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's what it, is. it is what it is. It's a bit of fun. Again, don't take it, you know, too seriously. Although the uh, Vigold vectored thrust is modelled in terms of 3D, it's not modelled in terms of the flight model. How do we know that? How can we be so sure? Because we know that this is a standard flight model and it is not possible to model the effects of vectored thrust. So yes, it looks good, but it's not actually what's required, which would be an external flight model. So please, no questions about whether the vectored thrust will work. That is just the fact. Okay, Simba, I would like to take off. Please be very careful when rotating because this is a weird mod and it just tends to blow up. Off you go. Oh, your flaps are back. <laughs> so funny. Uh, full flaps helps me get off the ground. Yes, it does. Yeah, we are rather fat body today, aren't we? In terms of pressing the S, the fabled S button, it's this guy here and this guy here that allows you to do the code, but it doesn't really work in this mod for some reason. I can press it now and I can go and try and pull the Cobras and stuff. It doesn't really work. Adds a little bit of extra play, but you know, nothing that is simulating vector thrust or even just basic ASC. So that's been removed for some reason. In terms of weapon employment, it's identical to a flanker. I, I don't need to spend much time, but I'll just spend a little bit of time. So I'm going to press, for instance, the uh, helmet mounted acquisition uh, method. I I'm going to like to fire an archer at you, please, Simba. Where are you? I am back over the airport. Looking for you. Right, you signed up for this, so you're about to get some. I'm going to lock in there, press the button, try and flare it if you can. Otherwise, God meant you to die. It appears that God meant you to die. Get another one. Okay, so just standard flanker stuff. Now, it's a great time to try out these new missiles that we've been given. The R-37, the, the big Phoenix thing, that one there. And the whopping great hypersonic AWAX killer there, that I know nothing about. Uh, Simba, would you be a deer and just head out into the ocean so I can get one of these AWAX killers on you? Found you. Right, I'm going to lock you up. I'm going to get launch the ride on. Okay, I'm going to fire this funny missile at you. Missile away, and I'm going to try auto firing a uh, Phoenix E thing. No idea what I'm supposed to call, but there you go. Right, hypersonic things coming at you. So is the other one. Oh, the other one's really fast. Oh, you're, he's retaliating. He's retaliating, value viewers. And nothing. Haha, <laughs> you lose. 
Uh, right, so that was just using the R37 uh, and the other one. They are modelled roughly as per the real ones, but you know, I don't know a great deal about them. That's pretty much all this is to say, Simba. Install it, enjoy it, have a bit of fun, don't take it too seriously, and I'm sure you'll enjoy that, and see you later.